Raindrops in Japan. Alright guys, you saw the cooking process. We're at this uh, Okonomiyaki place called Coco something here in Kyoto. We didn't make it to Omaros Kichi Kichi, but we got the cope here. Let's get into it. How does this yakisoba compare to Mount Fuji's yakisoba? Mm. Those noodles are really al dente. Got a nice chew to them. Really tasty. It smells like granny. Yeah. We got the Okonomiyaki Master B fan going in with the Omanju Yaki or whatever it's called. Holy moly, look at that. We also got the raw egg topping. Looks pretty good. But yeah, this yakisoba is really darn good. Actually, I think it's Shrek's uh, the Mount Fuji Okonomiyaki. I mean, sorry, Mount Fuji Yakisoba, to be honest. It's pretty darn good. I'm gonna go ahead and help myself to the... Oh, okay. Should have let it cook a little more? Okay, I will bide my time for this one. So, we'll be back. What you're watching is not the, act, the actions of the professional chef of this restaurant, but actually Okonomiyaki Master Chef Ethan. <laughs> I don't know when this is supposed to be done cooking, but let's just get into it. <laughs> the super-sized okonomiyaki just arrived. Holy moly. You want to split this four ways? Sure. I'll just let you do everything, Brian. I put my trust. Yep. You're the expert. Okay. Interesting. Master Chef B fan with the cuts over there. Let's try this. 
manjuyaki or whatever it's called. It's got some pork, some veggies. This is kind of just like fresh top sweet. I agree. Manjuyaki. The comment from Eli was this tastes like fresh chopped suey. It's just like a hodgepodge of like cabbage and like other veggies chopped up. And then there's some meat and seafood in there. So yeah, it's IMO, it's just okay. You should use two specials if you're gonna pick it up. You know, can borrow mine. Oh yeah, use a little one. So this, I think, is not the best. I'd probably give the yakisoba like a four out of five, and this manju yaki thing, I'd give it like a like a two out of five. It's not bad, but it's just not what I was expecting. It's just kind of like mushy veggies and meat and and seafood. Not bad. We'll be back to try okonomiyaki. It's thick, it's got the works. Let's get into it. Mm. Yeah. So I'm figuring out the sauce is. This is open in the yaki sauce, so it's the brown sauce they put on it. Japanese mayonnaise with drizzle they put on top. And this is a spicy but it's Sp spicy okonomiyaki sauce. Interesting. So I just finished my little piece of that okonomiyaki. It's not bad. Better than most okonomiyakis I had in the States. At the end of the day though, it's still like a block of cabbage and meats and veggies. So personally, I don't think too highly of this. It's good, but not in the top tier of Japanese foods in my, in my personal opinion. So I'd give Japanese deep dish pizza a 3 out of 5. Overall experience at this restaurant is pretty good though. Because they have good service, convenient touch screen ordering and everything. And the noodles are really good. Here's a couple of my friends. Franco, what do you think about this restaurant here? That was pretty good. Uh, maybe that's me saying that because I'm just so hungry. Uh huh. But I, uh, from what I uh, had, it was pretty good. I just wish that this was a little more crispy. Mm -hmm. Maybe that it's supposed to be king that way. Mm -hmm. But I would have preferred it if there was some brown on it. Okay. Brian just ate it straight off the spatula. Look at him. He's burning up. <laughs> How are you feeling right now? He's got to go for the water. All right, Eli, what do you think about this restaurant? Manjuyaki is not the play. All right. Yaki is pretty standard. Mm -hmm. And uh, the open Yaki. Let's go. B fan resident, Okonomi expert. How does this place stack up? This is my first time having a no, Manjuyaki, so assuming that we ate it the way that it's supposed to be, it was kind of disappointing. Mm -hmm. Yaki was kind of whatever. Okay. This was really good. Okonomiyaki. All right. That's the review of this uh, Okonomiyaki restaurant here in Kyoto, Japan. We're done here. Hi, I'm very sorry, but this video, this guy who makes video sucks. It's a solid 6 out of 10. Yo, Annie, basically. Subscribe, 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 like the video. Yes, my share friend. It. Yo, like and subscribe to Windbox, alright? Big badass Chubbs approved, man. Alright, like the video if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, leave a comment, especially if you think all this is bullshit. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Eleven Arts. Eleven Arts. Still the beautiful. By the way, we're not in the car. Subscribe. Wait, Chris, give me the outro. Subscribe. Bide your time and hold out hope.